Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your June 2022 money and career reading. Well, if you're new to my channel, a very warm hello to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. June should be a slightly more relaxed month. Uh, May was very chaotic for a lot of people. Um, we don't have a lot of major planetary issues going on in the month ahead for you. All right, and this may be a time of contemplation, okay, or just kind of doing a, getting a little bit lost in thought, thinking about what it is that you want to do, if you want to make any changes, or if you're happy where you are. Um, the universe is very supportive, thank you, very supportive of new beginnings, fresh starts, okay, changes um, in the month ahead here as well. So we have Mending, Chaos and Conflict, and Chop Wood. Okay, Chaos and Conflict, two readings in a row. Well, why don't we start with that one since it's in the middle. There may be some issues that are going on in the month ahead. There may be some issues that are carrying forward from the previous months, okay? Uh, things may be a little bit hectic or chaotic, okay? Or maybe there's some uh, challenges within your workplace, okay? Or even with your money, okay? Yes, we have a lot of economic uncertainty on a lot of places. It is tough. Uh, we'll start with the gas prices and go from there, right? So there may be a little bit of uncertainty or a little bit of turmoil uh, that is around you, okay? But when we have the chaos and conflict, this is a reminder that number one, there's certain things that we can control, certain things that we can't control, okay? Focus on the things that you can control. What is within your realm, all right? What is it that you have direct influence or impact over? Focus on that. Focus on the solutions. Focus on moving forward, okay? Or if you are in a situation where you can't change your environment whatsoever, then perhaps you are looking at a little bit of change. So there may be something there that's been ongoing for a while with that, but again, there may be something new that comes in, some little challenge. But we also have mending coming in here at the same time. So if we're getting the chaos and conflict, being able to fix the situation is also a really good, a really good, great energy. So it certainly does show that there may be some progress that you make in the um, in the month ahead. The mending energy, you may have some challenges with some coworkers in the month ahead, maybe with your boss, maybe you butt heads a little bit. Maybe there's just some uncertainty within your workplace, okay? Um, but the mending energy shows that there is a way to fix something, okay? There's a solution to be found, okay? It may require you making some change. Um, maybe even changing your environment, okay? Um, perhaps if there's some issues with a coworker or a boss or, you know, even a family member, right? This is a money reading too. So, you know, sometimes uh, money and family don't really mix all that well sometimes, okay? Whatever it is, you might need to extend an olive branch, okay? Maybe you need to compromise, okay? Um, but whatever it is, it's on the mend and you have the ability to fix certain things uh, in your world or make the change that makes things better. Chopped wood comes in here as well and sometimes we need to just lose ourselves in the mundane day-to-day -day activities. Roll up our sleeves, get to work, um, put one foot in front of the other, just get cracking, just get, get going. Sometimes we have big dreams and aspirations, okay, and sometimes we just need to focus on the task at hand. So the chop wood um, may not be the most exciting energy, okay, but it is one where we're just getting things done, okay? We're just doing those tasks that we have to do. Maybe you're doing a little bit of house cleaning there as well, right? Uh, you know, cleaning up your desk, cleaning up paperwork, okay, tying up loose ends, those kind of things, all right? Or you just have a lot of things to do on the go and you're just putting one foot in front of the other and getting things done. So uh, let's have a look. You may also be doing a little bit of contemplation as well. And sometimes sometimes we worry about things uh, a lot, especially the chaos and conflict. There's, again, a lot of, thank you very much, a lot of uncertainty that is around us. Okay, and, you know, but sometimes the best thing that we can do is just focus on our day-to-day -day tasks, right? Uh, we can't change everything and we just need to, we just need to put in some effort and some hard work and just ignore what's going on in our uh, external environment. So we have the Empress card, the Lovers, Temperance, Three of Wands, the World card there, Six of Cups, 
Queen of Wands, and we have the Fool. Isn't that nice? Ace of Pentacles right at the bottom of your deck. A little bit of luck, okay? Some of you are really looking for new opportunities, okay? Maybe you need a little bit more information. You might be looking for investment opportunities, um, uh, career uh, growth, okay? Maybe you're looking for a change, but you might also be just looking for a little bit of extra money. Okay, uh, you may have a little side gig on the go with that chop wood energy. Perhaps you decide to take a part time job or maybe you have something going on at home with the Empress energy. Maybe you've got some creative skills and talents and you might be able to start to make some money out of that. You might get a little bit of growth. Okay, um, but the Ace of Pentacles brings in some luck. It also brings in some manifestation energy here as well. All right, new beginnings or improvements in your financial situation. And when we have that energy at the bottom of the deck, okay, that brings in an underlying influence. It brings in some motivation. It also shows that there may be something coming in, um, not necessarily in June, okay? So it may be coming in in the, in the near future. But with the Empress, the Three of Wands, the Six of Cups, there's a lot of creative energy that's going on here around you, Taurus. Okay, and we did have the new moon in your sign, of course, at the very beginning of May. And it's like it, it initiated a whole cycle for you, right? And so, you know, you might be really looking at starting new things, okay? Um, making some change. We do have the world card here. So you've got a lot of success that's under your belt here, a sense of accomplishment, but we also have a sense of completion with that world card. And then of course we have a new beginning with the fool. So you may have an opportunity here to level up in somewhere in your workplace situation. Okay. Or even with your money. All right. Uh, this growth for you. Okay, but you might also be looking to start something new, all right, whether it's a leveling up or you may actually have a second chance at something here with the Six of Cups energy coming in. And at the very beginning of June, we do have that new moon in Gemini, which is very supportive of new beginnings, but also second chances to those who need them. So with the Six of Cups coming in here, there may be a second chance um, at something. Maybe you had thought that an opportunity had slipped through your fingers. Okay, or maybe a person comes in with a second chance, uh, an old colleague or something. Okay, so you just might get another shot at something. But we do have the Empress card here. So this shows this is a time of fertility, of growth, of creation for you. Abundance is flowing to you in all kinds of magnificent ways. If you're looking to um, make a career change, go on interviews, there's a lot that you have to offer with this Empress energy, right? Things uh, like a moth to a flame. Okay, you're very attractive to employers. Okay, um, and uh, it's like you have some things that they want that they desire. So the Empress is a great energy of creation, of growth, of expansion, seeing the fruits of your labor come to fruition. So if you're looking to start something new, make some improvements, or maybe you've just been working really, really hard, and I think you'll see the results of your efforts with that Empress energy, okay? But this is also bringing in this very creative kind of energy, and so you may have a little bit of an entrepreneurial spirit, uh, especially if you've got like a home-based hobby or something like something that you do like on the side and maybe you're exploring your avenues to make some more money doing that right um you know uh and that can be pretty much anything right something to do with your hands maybe you've got some freelance work that you can do if you're like an artist or writer something like that okay maybe you can turn some really creative skills and talents into a great business venture and you know, um, I've known people that are like, they're like an artist or, you know, uh, they've got really good way with words and they, and I'm like, well, why don't you go into marketing or graphic design or things like that? Right. And, uh, you know, sometimes people don't really always think about that. So whenever that is, then that Empress is showing a great, great energy. We do have a few major arcana. I mean, we've got Empress, the lover's card, the world and the fool card and the temperance card. That's a lot of big energy coming in for you here Taurus okay so it's a great great sign all right we have the three of wands here as well this is expansion of opportunities looking out into the horizon perhaps some of you have a, a trip coming up okay maybe a business trip and the three of wands can be about travel as can the world card as can the fool okay so maybe there is uh something you might actually be looking to relocate somewhere 
Okay, you might actually have an opportunity with a big corporation, something that is has offices and things around the world, or maybe something that's on the internet with that world card, right? World Wide Web and all that. Okay, so there may be some internet based opportunities that open up for you. Okay, but the Three of Wands, yes, it can be about, um, you know, about travel, okay, or about maybe relocating, looking at your options, but it's also one of taking action, taking initiative. Okay, um, knowing what you want, or at least having an idea of what you want, and then you're just waiting for the right opportunity, the right time to make your move, okay, to make your right move, okay, so I think there's something very exciting that may be around here for you, and uh, the doors are wide open for you whatever it is that you're looking to do, okay? And sometimes we just need to take a creative approach at what we've already got on the go, okay? Um, the Six of Cups is here as well. And the Six of Cups can certainly represent a return. So maybe you have a second chance at something, okay? You might have someone that pops in out of the blue, um, we do at the very beginning of the month up until June 2nd, still have Mercury in retrograde and that can bring about surprises, but it can also bring about people from the past, okay, or opportunities from the past. So there may be some sort of past influence here for you with the Six of Cups, okay, maybe an old, old work colleague comes in, you might bump into somebody on the internet or something, maybe someone seeks you out on like LinkedIn or something, okay, um, but the Six of Cups can also maybe, maybe you're reviving some sort of childhood uh, dream or endeavor that you were doing before, especially if it's anything to do with your creative side. All right. But the Six of Cups also shows um, that there may be an underlying influence here where you're looking to um, really enjoy yourself. Okay. So perhaps, um, you know, if you do have a home-based uh, a home-based business that you, or uh, something that you do at home that uh, you really enjoy the Six of Cups, okay, something that really um, you love to do, okay, the Empress card can certainly represent love as well, okay, and you might just be giving birth to new ideas kind of thing, or you might be, um, you know, uh, turning in your, your home-based hobby into something where you can make that money, but the Six of Cups shows that, you know, um, satisfaction and enjoyment of what you do for a living, okay, is really important for you, okay, maybe even your in like your workplace environment, right? You don't want to go to work. We spend a lot of time in our workplace, right? You don't want to go to work and be like, oh my God, I don't want to be here. It's the last place I want to be. I don't want to spend the next eight hours here. So um, if you're looking for a change, then perhaps being in an environment that you enjoy with people around you that you enjoy and loving what you do is very important for you. So you may have improvements that you can make um, in that regard, okay? Um, but you may also uh, you may also be looking for that change. We do have the lovers card coming up now. I do have to say that for some of you, your um, your money situation, okay, or even your career choices may have something to do with your personal life with the Empress and the lovers card. So you may have a personal relationship that is at the forefront for you, okay? Or that actually even changes your um, values, your priorities in regards to making money or in regards to what you do for a living. Perhaps you have an opportunity with the lover's card here um, and that empress card. I mean, let's face it, someone may actually be pregnant. The six of cups can represent children. Okay. Um, you know, uh, so if you are, uh, if you are pregnant or maybe you're looking to add to your family, or even start a family, okay, you might need to find something that's a little bit more in alignment with you know, what you want to achieve in your personal life. Okay. Um, it can also be very expensive having children as well. So, you know, you again may, uh, have some personal issues, personal things there, not issues necessarily, but person, your personal life may really be influencing your career choices. Okay. Or your, or your financial situation. So, uh, again, that can be a little bit more motivation for you to get out there and make some change or make some more money or, or on the flip, uh, the flip side of that coin is to find an opportunity where you're spending more time in your home environment and not as much time outside of your home, especially if you have a job where you travel for work. Um, because the three of wands and the, and the world card could be something where you do travel for work and, uh, that may have a little bit of interference because it's tiring and draining with that nine of wands when you have to do that. Okay. But the lover's card here does show, uh, as far as, uh, work and money goes that you have an opportunity here to partner up with the right kind of people. Um, an important partnership, it may either, 
um, may either have a bit of a challenge, okay, considering this is right under the chaos and conflict, okay, there may be a challenge um, with a partnership with uh, something in your world. Okay, or if you are looking for a change, then this is things where, you know, either we restore some balance and harmony. We've got a temperance card there as well. Okay, we restore the status quo in our current environment, or you do have the um, opportunity, the doors opening up for you to partner up with the right people, people who dig you, people who are on the same page as you, okay, who's the company whose values you can really get on board with, okay, um, you know, where people work as a cohesive unit rather than and battling each other every single day. Okay, so that lover's card, you may actually have some very important choices to make. Okay, you may have more than one opportunity, you may have a world of opportunity. Okay, the world is your oyster here right now. Okay, you might have your choice as well of, um, of job prospects, especially with that empress, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of skills, a lot of experience, a lot of um, knowledge, okay, and you're very attractive to employers right now. So if you are looking to make a change, okay, you might um, you might have really need to choose between a couple of different things, okay, or maybe you're making the choice to expand your horizons and to find something bigger and better for yourself. But we do have the world card right in the center. So, of course, this can mean a few different things. It can mean an end of a cycle, the end of the road. So it can be that you've got some um, big project or you've got something on the go. It's, you know, has its ups and downs with that chaos and conflict. OK, maybe you're resolving some issues in the in the in the workplace. OK, you are the one, the chosen one that can do that. And you've got this accomplishment here with the world card, right? The world card is where we do find success and abundance. OK, we do um, experience uh, some rewards and accolades that come with that. OK, we, um, you know, and it's because you can get things done in a very, very positive way. So you may have some sort of uh, rewards or bonuses or something coming your way with that world energy. Okay. But this can also represent that you are done. Okay. You're done with it. You're done with a situation in your world. You've gone as far as you can go. Perhaps you've hit that proverbial glass ceiling. Okay. And you are looking to cash out. Okay. You're looking like, okay, I don't think there's anything else. There's no more room for growth for me. Uh, there's no more money opportunities here. Maybe your uh, company may also experience a down patch. That can be that chaos and conflict there as well. And so now you're looking out into the horizon. You're exploring new avenues, new opportunities to make money, okay, to, um, you know, for a career. Maybe you're looking for a different career as well. You may be looking to relocate especially that three of uh, three of wands with the world there. Okay, but whatever it is, you may be looking for something either uh, onwards or upwards. Okay, whatever your situation is, but there is abundance and success that is behind you that is um, uh, that is a benefit to you, right? You're, you know, so um, if you are putting your resume out there, don't downplay your accomplishments with the world card. Okay, because you have a lot to offer, you have a lot to give. And you've got the skill set, okay, or the experience that someone wants, okay? Someone out there, some company out there wants what you have to give, all right? And so a lot of opportunities, I think, here with that world energy, it is one of expansion and growth. And like I said, for some of you, this can just be that you are getting some things done, your chop wood energy, right? You're rolling up your sleeves, you're getting to work, you're putting a plan in place, you're taking action, you're maybe taking creative approach at things, you're feeling good, okay? You're bringing things back together with that lover's card, right? And things back in alignment, back in balance and harmony, the queen of wands, very exciting energy. Okay. And you're just, your confidence is at an all time high. So it's a excellent, uh, excellent energy, um, for you to be in. So it doesn't matter what stage you're at. Okay. I think there's some really good things happening for you and you're getting, um, a lot accomplished in the month ahead. But we've got the queen of wands here as well. So this can certainly just be you letting your light shine. Okay. This can be you just being really excited, being really committed. Okay. And being a force to be reckoned with quite honestly, uh, with this queen of wands energy. Now I do have to say, I mean, yes, the queen of wands is filled with confidence, excitement, a sense of adventure, this creative energy. You might actually instill, um, others, um, you may inspire others, but this can be someone around you as well. Perhaps there is somebody around you that is motivating you, that is helping you. This could be someone that you can partner up with. Okay. Something is very exciting. 
for you. It's like, you know what? How do I get on board with that person, with that company? What do I need to do to partner up with you? So there may be something there for you that is very, very exciting um, in the month ahead. Okay. But the queen of wands, um, I also feel here, uh, because it is a very independent energy, um, that again, you may really be making a very important decision here. Okay. To move forward, to exert some independence. And with the empress card there as well, with that queen of wands. Okay. And the fool energy here. Okay. You may really be thinking that you need to head out on your own and open up your own business or maybe make a home-based business and really make a go of it, whether it's at your home or maybe you're looking to turn something into like a brick and mortar, all right, like have a storefront kind of thing, all right, but uh, I think you're really confident in whatever it is that you're doing in the month ahead. We do have the nine of wands though. So um, remember to take some time out for yourself, everything in moderation, especially with the temperance card here. Okay, yes, you might have a lot on the go. You might have a lot to do. Okay, but remember to recharge your batteries. Okay, take some time out for yourself. Make sure that you make your balance a priority for you. Okay, um, because when we're in that nine of wands energy, that wounded warrior energy, okay, it's like we're working really hard, that chop wood energy, we're working hard, we're getting things done, okay, you got a lot on your plate, okay, you're moving forward, but um, it is an energy of being really kind of tired and worn out. Okay, so remember to recharge your batteries to rest. Now, this could actually also be giving you motivation as well. Okay, because if you are in an environment where, yes, you're getting a lot of things done, but you're really busy, you're tired, you're drained, you're exhausted. Okay, maybe you're spending a lot of time at work and not enough time at home and balance may actually be a priority for you. And as we saw earlier, especially if you've got a family at home or anything, okay, um, the uh, balance, a work home life balance is very important. It's important for a lot of people. Okay. And if we're in a temporary situation where we're putting in a whole bunch of overtime and things like that, then that's fine. But, um, you know, whenever we get the temperance card, it is an energy of calm, peace and serenity. So, yes, you could be uh, resor resolving some sort of issues within uh, within your workplace or within even your money. OK, um, but the temperance energy does bring in balance and harmony, and this could be very much a priority for you is to find ways to achieve that, to attain that. OK, but when we have this here, there may also be some patience that is required as well in your situation. We quite often want to get everything done all in one day. OK, and we can't always accomplish everything in one day. So um, just a bit of a heads up there for you with that. But with the temperance card, I also feel as though you're being guided in a certain direction, okay? So pay it very close attention to your intuition, okay? Because your uh, your spiritual self, your angel spirits or guides are kind of like giving you some, um, giving you a little bit of encouragement, okay? But also are kind of pointing you in the right direction. And as I'm, as I'm kind of scanning your cards a little bit, I'm seeing a whole bunch of threes, okay? We've got chaos and conflict number 33, the Empress number three, the Three of Wands, and the World card is number 21. It also reduces down into a three. Threes are uh, teamwork, collaborations, partnerships, okay? But it's also creation and seeing something to fruition, okay? Seeing the results of your efforts, okay? So you might be putting in a lot of hard work and effort into um, things in the month ahead, but you're going to see the results of it, okay? It's not going to be that energy where look at all the time that I've put into this and what do I have to show for it? Nothing, okay? So I think you're going to start to see some results that are very positive for you. But I also think that, you know, for some of you here, you with the fool energy, okay, if you're looking to make a change and if you're not, uh, if you've hit that glass ceiling, you don't have any more opportunities, you feel like they've all dried up, okay, the fool energy shows you here that there are new opportunities that are awaiting for you, okay, you might need to be patient to find exactly what you're looking for, okay, but just take the first step, take that leap, right, that fool brings in a sense of adventure, Okay, a sense of excitement, okay, but also maybe a little bit of spontaneity. That's not always a bad thing, but new beginnings, 
Okay, and but what we need to do though is we need to trust and have faith in ourself, okay, and also that the right opportunity will come along exactly when it's meant to. But in the meantime, we need to be open, okay, and we need to be ready to take action. We need to start this, start the ball rolling, take some initiative, even as well, right? I mean, if you're looking for a new job, but you don't even revamp your resume or you don't um, make any steps to look for anything um, online or anything like that then chances, or if you don't tell anyone that you're looking for a change, then, you know, you're reducing your chances of finding something, right? Because quite often an opportunity isn't always going to manifest itself in on our couch, okay? So you have to take some sort of initiative, some sort of first steps, and then you'll be rewarded for that, okay? Because you got a lot of, a lot of great energy that is around you, okay? And, but you need to take that leap, you might need, you might also have something here where you need to just jump right in, jump in with both feet. Just say, you know what? I'm just going to try this. I'm going to give it the old college try and I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see where, where things take me. Okay. So whether you're onwards or upwards, whether you're uh, doing something um, where you are initiating some sort of change. Okay, whatever it is, there's new beginnings, fresh starts, and improvements here that are here for you, opening up for you. But remember, okay, remember to take some time out for yourself with that Nine of Wands energy. It is one of accomplishment, but it's also one of being tired and drained. Okay, so um, so a lot of things, a lot of potential. Uh, that world energy there, okay, um, again, success and abundance, absolutely. Um, you know, but it is also one of... Um, expansion and growth okay and there's a lot of that showing up in your reading so in the spirit of all the threes I'm gonna pull you three last cards here look up the deeper meaning of those threes by the way okay um, you know with the three three th well we've got four of them right out there even if we don't reduce down the world card so 33 three three so four threes so go look up the deeper meaning of those and there'll be some more messages there for you Number one, I am innovative. You are a self-starter with a very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and reach success. Next up, 888. Oh yeah, check it out. You gotta like this one. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I am abundant 888. You gotta love the eights. And we also have number five, I am adaptable. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. I am adaptable. I'm going to leave that there for you, Taurus. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful June. Open those doors if that's what you're looking for, okay? So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.